everyone, my name's Casey. I'm the program director here at Triple C Camp and today we're going to be making some cool fun dream catches. So here in the trees right now I have a couple of dream catches that I've brought from home that I have around my bedroom that I would like to show you. And these are some different styles that you may have seen around. Um, today though we're actually going to make some dream catches using some supplies that we find out in the woods here at camp. And if you potentially have an outdoor space at your home you can also use some of those natural supplies that you may find or if you have some different things in the house you can also use them if you've got beads, yarn, um, some like popsicle sticks, things like that you could also use them today. But I'm going to take you over to my little workstation here at our dream catcher space and show you what I'm going to use to make a cool fun dream catcher. Are you ready? Let's go! Alrighty, so here in front of me we have some supplies that we're going to use today uh, that I actually found around camp. Now if you don't necessarily have some sticks and leaves and other natural uh, objects that you may find out around your, your home, that's okay. You can use that things as I said earlier like popsicle sticks, beads, yarn, um, some tape if you have any. So there's different things you can use but today I've actually collected a few things. So here in front of me I have some different size sticks. So I have some smaller ones, some slightly thicker ones. I also have some vine here. Vines actually are really interesting plant as it loves to wrap around things so I thought this would be the perfect uh, plant to use today to actually wrap our sticks together so that it stays nice and tight and doesn't fall apart and then I also have some leaves here uh, my idea with the leaves was to kind of create a feather look so you can see behind me that some of these dream catches have like different feathers on them or some different pieces of ribbon so that was my idea of using these as like the ribbon or the leaves today also here to the right of me, I also have some um, raffia, which we may use. We actually had a little bit of this here at camp, which I thought could also be handy if we need to help tie our sticks together. So we may use this, we may not, but I brought it with me anyway. I also have all this amazing stuff around me here. So if we decide we want to add some more to our dream patches, we can go on a little adventure and find some cool little things around camp. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to start with my sticks and actually start tying them together. Now you can make your shape of your dream patches. So we're actually creating this um, space right now. Now this is a circle here. The sticks are going to make a slightly different shape, but you can make it as big or as small as you like. If you want to make a triangle, a square, a hexagon, a rectangle, that is completely up to you. So I'm going to get sticks about this size for now and kind of have them all broken to a similar length. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of my vine and I'm actually going to tie the first two sticks together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create like a little cross or an X here and I'm going to have one hand, finger underneath the sticks and my thumb on top to hold the sticks while I wrap this around. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross it around. You ultimately just want to wrap the vine around your stick. So I'm going through the middle, around the sides. I'm going to wrap that around a few times so it's in place. I've made the first part of my dream catcher. My sticks are pretty in place, like they're not going to go anywhere. So I'm pretty happy with how this vine worked to hold it together. We're actually going to create a weave look in the middle of our triangle. It looks kind of like these ones here at the back and I'm actually going to use my raffia for that. So raffia, I'm going to use a piece about this long. I'm going to Similar to like before, I'm going to wrap it around my sticks. Like that. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start crossing it backwards and forwards over the three sides and corners of my triangle. And we're going to create like a web look in the middle, kind of like a spider's web.
But I've been just using little overhand knots for most of it, which seems to be working pretty well. Okay, so there's that part done. Okay, so the next part is now I'm gonna add some leaves to the bottom. So there's a couple of different ways you could do it. You could potentially add some more vine to get a little length. Um, or if you have a long enough stem on your leaves, you could use that. We can also break some of our leaves off and attach them. So this is where you could use some like yarn or like I have some raffia we could use. Um, or if your stem's long enough and strong enough and you can wrap it around, that's okay as well. Uh, you may also have some glue that you can use. Just make sure whatever supplies you do use, you check with an adult in your household first before using those supplies and then you can go from there. So I'm gonna try and attach some different leaves to create that feather look and see how that goes. So some of these I'm actually going to thread up through the corners where my um, vine is because that seems to be pretty strong and able to support it. We could also, if we wanted to, add some other colours in. So I actually have some dried up leaves around me. I'll just find it. Like, here's one. So we're going to try and attach this one here. I'm actually going to use a little bit of my... We're going to try some vine again. Let's see if we can tie some of this around gently. So the dried out leaves are going to be a little more brittle, so you're going to have to be a little more careful with them. But we'll have a go and see what happens. So I'm just, again, for the leaves, I'm actually kind of doing like the crossover like we did at the start with our triangle with the sticks. Let's see if that can hold it in place. And you can also cut out some different patterns on some um, plain paper if you have any paper at home as well. That would also be something fun you could do and colour in those pieces. You could create, uh, you know, leaves shapes, you could do circles, you could get as creative as you like. Um, you could also fold your paper so it's like stretchy looking. So there's lots of different things that you could use to make this. So there's my dried out leaf in the middle and then so that I can hang it I'm actually just going to attach a little bit more of, you might actually use a new piece of vine. You may find using some yarn or a different kind of string or some ribbon or something like that may be um, something you could use It's in your household so that you can hang it. And there we have it, our natural dream catcher. We can hang up in the woods or I could hang it up in the office or my room. But that is how we make a dream catcher using natural supplies here at Triple C Camp. I hope you guys have fun making yours. Feel free to send a picture through of the ones you made and have a ton of fun. And thanks for joining us today. Bye.